we always making this leap um, to make machines um, more like us and one of the best way to predict where the ai is going to go in the future is um, i really think that if you want to predict where we are going you should look at media industry uh, why media industry you should look at the sci-fi and movie industry and, and to be very frank with you in this technological industry people say the change is constant i don't believe the change is constant change is actually exponential so a change is accelerating at more speed than it being a constant in the mathematical term if you say. So let, let, the, let the time tell that uh, how the metaverse is going to affect people in the, in the vice versa. Great. Uh, do you have any specific enterprise or company about this industry? The industries or something that might be interesting to, to look for metaverse and related space might be in comes in mostly three parts. Of it. One is the, the core hardware industry where um, it is focusing on the infrastructure of that empowers the metaverse, uh, which is about the cloud, the, the speed of the cloud, the edge cloud and uh, in particular. And specifically the cloud where the cloud hardware technology which is focusing on the, the GPU or the computing um, at, at the core level, at the edge level um, the part. The speed of the real time is important. The second set of the companies, um, uh, and of course in the first one you can easily guess is the NVIDIA's or the AWS and the, the cloud companies which are of course and the hardware companies are the same. The, the middle layer is, is going to be important uh, where the infrastructure uh, which provides the tools and technology for creation spark. So this is the unities of the world or this is the unreal of the world in one way. Where the, this, these platforms are going to let a smaller, uh, more creative tech and ecosystem to grow on top of it, a small part of it. And in this journey of life, uh, let's just explore, let's, uh, let's create something new. And uh, as a joke, I always tell that the uh, my last name, uh, it's not a, uh, so my last name, mystery, literally means uh, people who build, uh, create. So it's in my blood somehow that to, uh, to keep uh, trying, keep building, uh, uh, building the carpenter in India. So we build uh, wooden furniture and houses and, and uh, Thing. So, so that's a, uh, the creativity comes from. But as a as a general thought process, um, I I follow a particular kind of practice of uh, how to think about um, new new things, uh, which I which I describe it in a way that connect and disconnect. Uh, what I mean by that is that the any new thinking, like right now, the, there's a lot of things happening in the world about metaverse and this technology and 3D graphics and new computing and all this. Kind of, that, that, there'll be a jargon of the things uh, at you. And, and internet is a great source for learning. Those things. So connect. Yeah, you should connect and learn. Become the student for a lifetime. Keep learning about that. So this is a connect part of it. At the same time, I call it disconnect. Very briefly, like whether you are watching a Netflix or whether you are looking at a picture on your phone or, or or you are using your VR glasses in a VR virtual world, or you are going in the next two years in the metaverse. But still, to enter this digital world, we are dependent on some kind of middle layer. Your phone, your VR headset, your computer screen or something like that. 